pretty interesting Okay, the, the magazine that this shoot went into was called For Adults Only, or FAO. And um, the editor, who in the book, his name is Izzy Singer, he just pulled out of thin air this title. He said, write a story called The $5 Blowjob. And, okay, I'll write a story called The $5 Blowjob. You know, how soon do you want it? He gave me a, a few weeks. So I wrote this, this the, uh, story. It was a freelance assignment. I got paid extra for it. And, you know, as I'm writing the story, I just thought, okay, I'm going to pose for a blowjob shoot. And that was pretty much it. And, you know, I went into Izzy and I said, you know, I want to do this. And he had the model all picked out. Uh, you know, there was still, this was 1986 and the Iron Curtain was still up and it was still like, you know, communist countries and this, this, the, um, the Soviet Union and this Hungarian model had somehow slipped out from behind the Iron Curtain. She'd come to New York City mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, she was working cheap as a porn model. You paid her $150. She worked the whole day. Mm -hmm. So we shot her at Izzy Singer's apartment in Times Square. Mm-hmm. And so you were pretty much coupled up with this model, and you were a model too, and you performed a sexual act that was photographed. And so what was that like? Um, I realized that I did not have what it takes to be a porn star. That, you know, as you could probably see, I tend to get a little nervous in front of the camera. <laughs> and I got even more nervous when this beautiful young model who's name I didn't even know who I'd met like three minutes before. Which is so many people's fantasies. It's so many people's fantasies except well the, I discussed this too in, in uh, Beaver Street that there's this you know people think just because they have like a private orgy and they did some self timer Polaroids this was before digital cameras uh, you know just because they did some hot self timer Polaroids oh I could be a porn star and then you know they get in front of the camera with the lights and the crew <laughs> and the clocks ticking and they see that you know what was like easy in private is not so easy when it's a commercial enterprise and mm -hmm. you know you have to perform on cue and you see that you know real porn stars I'm talking about people like you know Ron Jeremy Jerry Butler, people like that, Paul Thomas, the director Peter said, North, uh -huh. Peter North, of course, Peter, I mean, I could go on and on, yeah. but, mm -hmm. um, you know, the director says, get it harder, bingo, and, it's, you know, like that, and like, you know. And it's got to be different for a man than a woman doing this. Oh, it's, you know, it, that, it's amazing the way these porn stars do it, that, you know, people think, oh, it's really easy, there's this hot girl in in front of you and uh, you know it's going to be so you're easy paid to, have to get turned on you're getting paid to have sex and you know it's really just a question of following directions and that's why before Viagra you know most of the book takes place before mm -hmm. the invention of erection enhancing pharmaceuticals is that there are only nine guys in the book I call them the nasty nine they're only the nasty nine <laughs> yeah and you know I did not make them the turgid 10. That was not a problem. Aww. Yeah. It was, <laughs> that, you know, I never really expected to. I was a journalist. I was doing investigative and reporting. And I think it's so brave that you did that because so many people fantasize about these things. Not very many people, except someone like me, goes out and tries things like this. And I think it's really brave to do that. So and do you, do you, but you had a backlash. You suffered reper repercussions. In retrospect, are you glad you did it? I'm glad I did it because I knew then, I knew 25 years ago, this was going to, whatever happened, this was going to be a great story. And, you know, as I'm going to show tonight when mm -hmm. I read the book, you know, this is probably one of the best comic pieces I've ever written <laughs> in my entire career. But, you know, to get this comic material, you know, I paid a very high price among my coworkers mm -hmm. and socially. It's just that... You see that, you know, even in New York, even in the porn industry, that people are very hypocritical, very close-minded. And, um, you know, 25 years later, it's more than 25 years now, people still throw it up in my face. Oh, remember when you took out your dick on the gate? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> now, okay, 